Hey YouTube, this is just a quick video to help other people out there that have the later model TJ Wrangler. I have an 05 Jeep Wrangler TJ Unlimited. I'm having some running issues and I wanted to check fuel pressure. Problem with this model, at some point, Jeep decides to not put a straighter valve on the fuel rail. I have the tool to actually check it, but I don't have a port to check it off of. So I had to make a tool. You can buy a whole tool kit that has everything you need, but they're expensive, 250, 300 bucks. So this is what I came up with. For start, sorry about that. To start off, if you look down here, you have, this is where the fuel line connects to the fuel rail. This is the actual fuel line that comes from the actual fuel pump in the tank. So what I had to do was, you have to disconnect it and run a line that goes from the fuel line through a T like this and then back to the rail down here at the fuel rail itself. So that way you can test the fuel pressure with the engine running or just maybe in the on position. So over here is the tool, the stuff I bought to make it work. I bought a quick connect, that's the part number, and it's just a straight piece with the actual flares on both sides. What I did is I cut it just the length I needed on that one side. And then you buy a quick connector, at, and this is 5 sixteenths, and then it's your part number. That's 5 sixteenths as well. So I cut the end off, brought that over here. I plugged it in, put a small flare on it, and ran a 5 16 hose to this T. Now, I didn't have the T, and I basically come over here and I rented a kit from O'Reilly's that had the T in it. And then it goes to this 90 end of the pressure gauge that is part of the kit that, they, that, that you can uh, rent, which is, I already have this tool. I just didn't have the T or any of these other fittings. So anyways, out of the T, this comes back around and goes down to the actual fuel rail. And then if you can see the little shiny connector, was that, oh, it's hard to see, I'm sorry. Right here, that's the little quick connector that adapts it to the fuel rail. And then just put a clamp on that. And you make sure you clamp these good because this thing's supposed to have 45 to 55 pounds of pressure. <clears throat> so now you'll be able to kick the engine over or just into the on position, bleed some fuel out, and read your pressure. Hopefully that helps everybody out. Take it easy.